Today I'm going to show you how to do this really fun poofy chain hair tie. You can see that it's just a hair tie and we've created these chains for the petals. You can use any color in the center and of course any color for the petals. I will say this is a bit of a yarn eater and so if you plan to make all of these petals and I'll show you in the tutorial in a few minutes. If you plan to make every single one of these little petals, these chain petals, then it will be a yarn eater and you're going to need quite a few yards just to get those petals done. But the inside color doesn't take very much yarn. We're just going to do two rows of single crochet before we start the petals. These are really poofy, they're fun, they're really pretty. So when you wear them in your hair, this one looks sort of like a daisy. So I've done the yellow center and the white petals. For this tutorial, I have picked a brown for my center and a yellow for the petals. So I'm going more for like a sunflower look. So you can make tons of these in all different flower colors and have quite a set. You'll also need a hair tie, an elastic hair tie. Anything you have on hand works, as long as it's kind of stretchy here. And I am using a four millimeter crochet hook. To start, we want to put a slip knot onto our hook. Once you have your slip knot on your hook, grab your elastic and put your hook right through the center of that hair tie. Grab your working yarn pull up a loop and put a single crochet around the hair tie like that. Now you're going to want to work a single crochet around the hair tie for as many as it takes to cover your hair tie. You want enough single crochets around this hair tie so it is still stretchy. If you only put a few it will be very tight and it won't work up well. So I'm just going to keep working single crochets all the way around. Working right through the center of that hair tie and pulling my single crochets around that hair tie. I want to cover it completely. Once you have worked single crochets all the way around making sure that you still have some elasticity in that hair tie. Go ahead and find that first stitch, that first single crochet, and make sure that all of your single crochets are facing outward. So you want to be able to work into them all the way around. Sometimes they can get twisted up and wind up on the inside. So find that first single crochet and just slip stitch to it chain one and work a single crochet right back into that same stitch and a single crochet into every stitch all the way around. So we're essentially just working two rounds of single crochet. Once you get back around and if you have a hard time finding that start Look for your tail, or you can put a little stitch marker in as you're starting this second single crochet round, just so you know where that beginning is. And you're just going to want to slip stitch right into that first single crochet that you did, and now you can fasten off. I like to leave longer tails for scrunchies and hair ties and things just so I have enough to weave them in really securely since these get a lot of stretch. Now taking your petal color, put a slip knot on your hook and you can pick any stitch to go into, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to pick up one just to the right of where I joined here. Put your hook in and just slip stitch to any one of those single crochet stitches. Now here's where we work our petals. The petals are a chain 18. Now if you're doing the chain 18 you're going to get about a two inch 
petal once it's folded over. If that's too poofy for you, you can do a chain of any length that you want. You just want a nice chain that you can single crochet right back into that same stitch and create a little petal poof. So I have done my 18 chains. I'm going to find that same stitch and single crochet right into that same stitch that I chained out of. You're going to find the next stitch and you're just going to slip stitch and do the same thing. So these petals consist of a slip stitch into the very next stitch, a chain 18 for me but you can do a custom amount of chains and then a single crochet right back into that same stitch. Next stitch, slip stitch, chain, single crochet. Now if you don't like how these are so poofy and close together, you can always slip stitch or single crochet a few in between each of these petals. It's just personal preference if you want super poofy or if you want them spread out a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and work all of my little petals and then we can fasten off and have a little sunflower scrunchie to match my little daisy scrunchie. Once you work all the way around, you should have one stitch left. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that stitch. And I'm going to work one more chain petal. Once I have my chain, I'm just going to find that same stitch and single crochet right into it. I'm going to put a slip stitch just in my next stitch where I started that first petal just to sort of join that round and then I'm going to fasten off. You can see how poofy those little chain petals make your scrunchie. And then once it's folded over and in your hair it does look like a little sunflower or like a little daisy. And again, you can use any yarn, you can use cotton yarn, acrylic yarn, whatever you have on hand, and you can make a whole bunch of these in just any colors you want. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Until next time, happy crocheting everyone. Bye!